Man, this is gonna be an awesome day. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'm not, but maybe two or three feet from where I just dug that uh, stainless steel ring, and I was getting a 46, 47. I think it's gonna be another stainless steel ring I dug down. And it's gold, guys. It's yellow gold. All right, my first gold ring for the year. Everybody. It is Monday evening. I'm headed out to the lake. Hopefully it's, uh, it's like 630 right now. I'm hoping that maybe the lake is uh, beginning to thin out and I have a little bit more room to move around. I'll be hitting this lake today and then tomorrow my family's going out to the lake and I'll be hitting two more lakes tomorrow. And then I'll be heading up to uh, another lake. I like to call it my honey hole. And uh, you can watch the videos on it. It's called the Mother Load Part 1, the Mother Load Part 2 where I came across and, and uh, found like 10 rings in this one place. It's, it's because it had never been hunted before, but every time I go up there, except once, I usually find three or four rings in the swimming area. And uh, so I'm gonna head up there on Friday. So I'll be doing a total of four lakes this week. And, uh, and what I get is what I get. And uh, so we'll make a video of that. And so I'm almost to the lake right now. So I'll turn this thing off and I'll see you out in the water. Well, I came out here, haven't been out here maybe five minutes, dug uh, three targets. My third or fourth target here is a silver chain. So uh, that's a good sign it's not been hunted, so let's keep on going. And uh, I'll make sure it's silver later on when I'll read the clasp on it. I can't tell out here right now, so let's keep on going. Maybe I found the cross that went on that chain while ago. That chain ring up as a 55, this is ringing up as a 41, so it's gonna be stainless. So, preacher digger got his cross. All right, let's keep going. I'm in the same area. And there's gonna be some more out here. Hopefully it's gonna ring. Well, I've been out here about 20 minutes and I got four targets. Got that quarter, that uh, key, that chain, and that first cross, just boom, boom, boom. About 10 minutes later, maybe that chain goes to this cross. So preacher digger done got him a second cross. This is a, uh, Bringing up like a uh, 60 something, I believe. And uh, I don't know, let me see what that was bringing up as. Let's see what this was. I can't remember. Bringing up in the 40s, so it's gonna be stainless steel. It's gonna be silver. So, uh, hey, two crosses right here together. I'll take that. All right, let's keep going. Well, about five minutes after that cross, I just got my first ring. It's ringing up at 41, so it's got to be a stainless steel ring. This little band. Hey, I'll take it. Just shows that it hasn't been hunted. So I'm going to stay out here for a while. Let's keep on going. It's been a good day so far. Man, this is going to be an awesome day. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'm not, but maybe two or three feet from where I just dug that uh, stainless steel ring and I was getting a 46 47 I think it's gonna be another stainless steel ring I dug down and it's gold guys it's yellow gold all right my first gold ring for the year it's small it's got some stuff on it I can't tell what it is uh, but anyway first gold ring let's keep on going there may be more well I did about an hour and 45 minutes and on my first lake out of four this week I'm going to be doing and uh, got a uh, gold ring, a uh, stainless steel ring, it could be white gold, I haven't checked yet, uh, two crosses and a necklace, and a bunch of change. So I'm going to call it a day and uh, head out to the lake again tomorrow afternoon and uh, so it's been a good day. So I'm glad I came out. I'll catch you at the next lake.
Yeah, I just got out here and uh, I just walked 30 feet and my first signal was like a 70, 72 that jumped up to a 78. I think it's going to be a zinc penny. It ended up being a ring and it's got some writing on it here. Uh, I can't read some name on it. But anyway, hey, that's a good start. All right, let's keep on going. searched here for about an uh, hour and a half and I'll tell you what when you find a ring right off the bat like that that's either a good sign or a bad sign it could be a good sign because there's plenty in there it could be a bad sign because it's the only thing left over that somebody missed and there's nothing else there and in my case that was the the latter uh, first target was that silver ring with that Hebrew writing on it and then I found an earring and quarters and that's about it and uh, so I got one more lake I'm gonna go hit I'm not too far away from it right now I'm gonna hit it, then I'm gonna go out to one more lake on Friday and I'm gonna call this a video a, a, a complete video and I'll start rendering it, put it together. So I'll see you at the next lake. Not a lot out in this third lake. I haven't found anything but a bunch of money. A lot of coin spills, a lot of quarters. I'm going to give it about uh, uh, about 10 more minutes. If I don't find anything, I'm going to call it a day and go back out on Friday, one more lake, and see what we come up with. I was hoping to get at least one ring out of here, and uh, but uh, there's a lot of people here. But uh, I'm going to give it 10 more minutes, and we'll see. All right, let's keep going. When I came out here to the lake I was at yesterday and found those two crosses and those two rings, uh, I saw my way home, I thought I'd hit it one more time, I got about 30, 45 minutes. I just wanted to show you the sunset. That's beautiful, isn't it? A little th thunderstorm going on, but I uh, got some sun rays. I tell you what, God's creation is beautiful. Well, good morning. It is Friday morning. Uh, you just saw the sunset there in my video. and. Uh, on my day off, I'm headed out about two and a half hour drive this morning to a lake that, uh, as you saw in the video, that I had some good success at. I've been there before and got nothing before too. But we're gonna go up there and see what we can get and uh, hopefully we get some stuff. So let's uh, hope for the best and I'll see you out in the water. Well, I made it out here to the lake. A couple people out here just swimming, no protectorist. It looks like they've done a lot of cleaning up out here. The new beach on it. So let's get out in the water and see what we can come up with. Let's go have some fun. stainless steel uh, it's got a cross on it so preacher digger got his cross all right that's number one in the swimming hole and number four for my trip all right let's keep it looking for some more let's go have some fun definitely a trip of crosses. I've got two crosses on the big crosses, then I got that cross ring, and then I just dug another little cross necklace with little diamonds in it. Probably fake. It looks like a kid's bracelet. Anyway, that's four crosses and uh, Preacher Digger Special. All right, let's keep on going. Working the deep end right now. See if we find anything out here in the deep end. Well, out here in chest deep water, got a 48. It looks like it's got uh, 
I don't know, some stainless steel. Looks like a little kid's bracelet. Elastic. Well, it's getting a 50 to a 51. And it uh, looks like a, it kind of looks like a copper diamond studded toe ring. I'm sure they're fake diamonds, but anyway, uh, it's probably copper, but it rings up real low because it's not a complete circle, it's broken, so it's real choppy. All right, that's still a good find. All right, let's keep going. Well, not too far from where I got that bracelet. I was getting a 49. It took me like five minutes to get this up. It just kept moving around. It's real hard clay. But uh, looks like uh, probably a stainless ring. It's got some writing. I can't tell what it is. I'll let you know at the wrap up. Anyway, that's ring number two, ring number five for the trip, but ring number two in this spot. So let's keep going. Well, this is my uh, sixth ring for this uh, video and the fourth ring or third ring out of this uh, swim area. I got the st stainless steel rings and this is ringing up as an 86 but it's real light. It almost feels aluminum but it's got a marking on it. It may say 925 but it's ringing up like silver but uh, real light though. All right that's ring number three and a toe ring and a bracelet. Let's uh, keep looking out here about chest deep working the deeper in here. So let's keep at it. Still out here in chest deep water, and I was getting a good 86 tone, thinking it was going to be a ring, but it's actually a uh, half of a necklace. It's a best friend's necklace. And got half of the wording, and the other friend wears the other side. All right, let's keep going. Well, this is kind of really hard to hit. It's a 48-49. It's an infinity necklace. Uh, real small. Took me a while to get this one up. All right, I'm still searching in here from chest to, to waist deep. There's still some targets in here. They're few and far between, but uh, we're going to see if we can't get another ring or two before we quit. Well, I finished up at the lake. I spent five hours at this one location and uh, it turned out to be pretty good. Uh, I ended up with uh, two, three rings, a toe ring, a bracelet, and uh, a necklace. And I'll show you that here just shortly at the wrap up. I'm headed home. I'm going to call it a, a week. And so I had a great week at the lakes, and uh, when I get home, I'll lay it all out and I'll show it to you. So I'll see you when we get back to the house. Oh, my back. That's a three-hour drive, and my back has been out. Oh, I'm glad I made it home, though, from the lakes. It's been a good week this week. I had a real good uh, turnout on rings and all types of jewelry. And so I'm glad to be home, and... Glad to get all this done. I'm going to shoot the wrap up here and show you all this stuff. And so let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. All right. Here is my haul for this week. I had a great week, as you can see right here. And uh, there's my setup. For those of you that uh, like to know that, I hunt with the uh, Garrett AT Pro. I put the discrimination on 35. I hunt on just pro mode and uh, uh, and just that I, I seem to do real well with that. Found the watch from my last video. Check that out. I got it stuck onto the side of my detector. Now I can do my know my time. But anyway, here's what I got. There's my foil. There's my bottle caps. Aluminum caps. There's my beaver tails and broken glasses and batteries. There's your uh, square tabs. A lot of fishing lures. Man, look at the size of that one. That's a number four. A lot of, lot of not lures, but uh, weights. Here's the new pull tab in the swimming areas this year is all these uh, vape pens that these teenagers are smoking. Boy, I don't know how many I've already dug uh, this year. Here's my pennies. I got 5, 10, 15, 17 pennies, 2 nickels, and 5, 10, 11 dimes. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, $5, 22 quarters. And I've got a cross in my little necklace. Got another little bracelet here, bracelet there. Ended up getting a, a, a it's not a silver chain, it's just going to be a uh, stainless steel chain. And uh, some type of key, I don't know what type of key that is, I don't know what that's doing in the lake. But anyway, that was uh, 
that was a good find right there. It probably went with one of these crosses. I think maybe that cross. I got my first for 2020 is the name of my video. That's the first uh, cross that I got was this one right here. And then not far away, I got another cross. Another best friend's necklace. A couple of uh, earrings. Then I got a toe ring. It's just a copper junker. Then I got an aluminum ring. It's just another junker. Then I got three stainless steel rings. Got one band, and the middle one is a spinner. And then I got another cross stainless steel ring there. And then I've got this Hebrew ring. Uh, you saw that on the video. Uh, Bashart. Bashart. It's a soulmate ring. And that is silver. And then again, for the first one in 2020, I got my first gold ring. It looks like maybe a Catholic baptism ring or something like that, confirmation ring. But uh, it is definitely 14 karat gold. Y'all disregard my thumb. I smashed it in my refrigerator the other day. But yeah, that's a, uh, some type of Catholic jewelry, but it's, uh, it's a small finger. But it's 14 karat. So that is my first cross. And my first gold ring for 2020 ended up with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six rings and three crosses, if you include this one, and a couple of necklaces, chains, lots of money, a bunch of trash. So there's the trash, and here's all the treasure. Man, it's been a good week. Like I always say, the greatest treasures are not what's sitting, sitting on the back of your tailgate, my friends. The greatest treasure, what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless.